Hello everyone. I was having an issue with my sprinkler system where whenever I turn it on for this zone a puddle would quickly start building up over here um, which told me that um, there is going to be a leak somewhere around here. So I started digging and um, what I found was that um, there is a T that is over here so I was pretty confident that the leak would be around this T but once we dig it up uh, I turned on the sprinkler system again and uh, to my bad luck we started seeing water coming out from this side not from any of these joints so we started digging up further uh, because there was a tunnel that was going all the way where the water was coming out so we keep digging 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 and then we came up here and this is where the tunnel ended so we started digging up here and uh, we found another joint uh, which is another T as you can see and it has a poly pipe which is going to a sprinkler head going into a PVC pipe and the leak is right here so um, what I'm going to do now is just try to see if I can take it out uh, without me cutting these pipes the worst case scenario I would just cut this pipe from here and here and uh, make a new joint um, but I'm trying to avoid that so I'm trying to see if I can take this one out um, without cutting any pipes because um, as far as I understand this is just a um, just a screw on Thing that is going in there so let's see what happens so as I thought the the joint in the T was just a threaded joint so I cut the poly pipe and um, unscrew it and I got it out um, if I can show you here uh, this is actually has a crack right here so I'm going to get a new one and um, just thread it in and then uh, put a coupler on the the poly pipe and we'll be done with it okay so I got all the supplies now this is a coupler that we can put in between two connections and this is the elbow that was busted like cracked from here as this one this is the old one so I'm going to put this new one in there then put a piece of pipe and then a coupler and then join back to the uh, existing pipe. Okay, although it is not necessary but I am going to put some thread sealant onto this just as a precaution. Now I'm going to cut back this so that I have enough room to put a coupler in here and also the pipe. Okay, here you can see that um, I cut it from here, put a coupler in, added this small piece of pipe and then get it in here. This is definitely not easy. <laughs> To get it on this one because it takes a lot of force to get it in so but I'm finally able to get it in there and uh, it's it should be fixed so I'm going to go ahead and try to pressurize this and see if there are any leaks You can see I'm actually <laughs> getting wet, but there are no leaks over there. So I think we got it. And there's everything stitched back together. Thank you for watching.